Hey everyone, so as promised, we this is going to be a step-by-step -step review of everything we covered today in class, um, as well as everything you need to complete your first programming assignment, which is going to be due this Sunday evening. Um, and it's going to be pretty simple. Um, again, this is the you'll have the opportunity to review these as much as you like, and also um, this is a repeat of what we did in class. So. Of course, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to post them to Lore. Um, as we said uh, before we left, if you have that question, somebody else definitely does too, so please don't hesitate. Um, but to get started, we're going to cover, uh, we're going to first start with Aptana Studio 3. So the expectation here is that you've downloaded it, so I'm opening it for the first time. And it may or may not have a default in here. Uh, a lot of times it defaults to like your documents folder. I prefer to work on the desktop. Um, but you should choose some place that's convenient for you um, that you like to do. So this is just using an arbitrary folder. So I'm going to go ahead and browse. Um, and I'm just going to create another folder. So it's saying Workspace Launcher. It calls it a workspace. It is really just a folder. Um, and so I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it Data Visualization 15, right on the desktop there. And uh, it's a little hard to see the dialog, but I'm just going to click Open and click OK. And it's going to do its little thing here. And here we have our workspace. So I will cover the, um, the preferences changes that we made as well. Um, but just to recap, I'm going to X out of this start page. Don't need that. Goodbye. Uh, I don't need this App Explorer either. Um, Project Explorer is just going to show me the local file system, which really just means my hard drive. Um, but I'm going to start by uh, going ahead and creating new from template HTML. Um, HTML4 transitional, and that's just going to give us a basic file with not a whole lot going on. Um, and again, this markup that we saw in class. So some of the things that we touched on is how the typography in the markup here is, is giving us some help. Um, and we didn't sort of get to this level of detail in class, but I'll point out now because we have the opportunity, right? Uh, time and leisure. Um, uh, that the green strings uh, or what for me right now are the green strings, right, are, um, are surrounded by double quotes. So things surrounded by double quotes are turning up green. Things that are part of our XML or rather HTML tags, right, so with the carrots and, you know, we said uh, body or, you know, the forward slash body rate falling forward, um, that markup is turning up in this sort of brown and then we have the white text happening here. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and save this. I'm going to file save as. And it's saying, oh, do you want to do a directory or local file system or in a project? I'm going to say, remember my decision. And I'm always going to choose local file system, which, again, is just another way of saying my computer. Um, they're both the computer, obviously. Um, but um, I just find local file system a bit simpler. So here I am in data visualization 15. Now I need to give it a name. And I'm going to choose index.html. Now another thing that we didn't, uh, that we sort of touched on briefly in class Index.html is just a convention. It's just something that when the web was getting going, people were like, let's call it an index. Um, and in fact, enabling the index is uh, what we ran into a bit of trouble with in class, uh, where uh, if you remember when I brought up my directory uh, on the Columbia server, you could see kind of a list of folders. And then um, that was not enabled for most of your folders, and so we were getting that access forbidden error. Um, but the index comes from literally saying, like, what is the, was the convention that this file would show literally an index um, of all of the uh, files contained um, within whatever folder you were in. Um, actually using a file, um, or until recently at least, if it's changed, um, you could also call this home.html. Um, and, and it would show up sort of by default when you went uh, to a folder. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and save this in my data visualization folder. Um, and if I go ahead, oops, that was not what I wanted to do. Um, trying to move this. I'm going to just drag this so you guys can see it. So in my data visualization folder, I see index.html. I'm going to actually open this in Chrome. Um, we will typically use Chrome, uh, and we'll talk about why that is. Um, in a little bit, but uh, or in a future class. Uh, so here I am. This is exactly what I saw in my markup, of course. So now we're just going to play around as we did before. We see this title tag. So I'm going to say um, new web 
page of SEM 2196, and I'm going to say, here's my header, woohoo, right? And I'm going to save this, just, you know, control S, Apple S, and I don't have to do any, once it's saved, all I have to do is hit the reload button here. Ta-da! So here we have the title tag has changed the, the tab description up here. Um, changing the text in that H1 tag um, has changed what shows up on the page. Um, and again, as there was a question in class, this is just where the file is on my computer, right? So the fact that it starts with the file colon tells me that it's on my local, that it's on my computer, right? It's not on the internet, it's on my computer. Um, and so, you know, this is the, the path. I'm on the desktop, I'm in a folder called data visualization, and a file called index.html. So now that I have a sort of vaguely customized web page, um, I want to put it on the internet. So I'm going to open up FileZilla. And, whoops, that's still feeling a little, a little sad. Come on, guys. Happens, it does happen. Happens to the best of web programs. So there's this weird uh, little guy here, um, site manager. Oops, I thought I got rid of him. Well, here's how it'll look for you if you didn't get a chance to set it up. Um, I really deleted it. So here I am, I'm going to say new site. I'm going to give it a name. I will call mine Columbia. Okay. And host. This is where we have cunix.cc.columbia.edu. Now, that is just something that we receive. So students at Columbia, you all get space to host things on the internet as part of being a student at the university, a member of the university community. Um, and this is something, like the host name is just like something they tell us, right? They're like, this is the host name. Um, there's no magic to that. If you were doing this at a workplace or you're doing this through like a web hosting service, like that's just something they hand you, right? So there's no particular rhyme or reason uh, nothing you would sort of figure out for that. Um, we choose SFTP, right, which is Secure File Transfer Protocol. So technically, FTP, File Transfer Protocol, it's what we're doing. It's just a way of saying, look, we're moving a file from your local computer to an internet, uh, an internet uh, hosted computer, right, when a server on the, on the web. So we want to do that in a secure way because Columbia won't accept other types of connections, which is good. Um, I choose normal. I put in my uni. Okay. I'm going to put in my password, um, right, and just say connect. And there we have it, right? So again, I can if I want, actually it's a little bit easier to see now, I can if I want in this left-hand pane, like I could open up this data visualization folder so that it shows in here. Um, but the most important thing, right, is that I want to right-click on my public HTML folder. I'm going to choose file permissions. I have, I want to put in this 755. I want to recurse into subdirectories, okay? Um, again, for you guys this won't matter as much because you probably don't have much in there, but I can say okay. And I have a bunch of old directories in there, so it's going to take a little while going through there. Uh -huh, da, 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 da. Stuff, stuff, stuff. It's all very impressive in the sense of being a lot of things happening. Yeah, so. Okay. So now I'm going to double click into public.html. I'm going to delete this just so it's gone. Yes, okay. So I'm going to right click, say create directory. Again, directory means folder, folder means directory. It's all the same. Um, I'm going to say data viz 15. Now, one of the reasons why I'm making this short is because it's I'm going to have to remember it. Honestly, what I recommend is that you all bookmark these things um, just on your browser because that's going to be the easiest way to get back to the right place, <laughs> truthfully. Um, so I'm going to, so I now have this empty directory. And you notice actually that the folder, the folder names don't match. And that's fine because this internet folder doesn't care what my local folder is called. It doesn't even know. So I'm just going to take this HTML file and I'm going to drag it and drop it up. Right, and you'll see I get a little bit of um, activity here eventually. And there it goes, right? And I can see it, it appears there. And if I want to see this on the interwebs, um, after FileZilla stops feeling sad, come on, right? So what we experienced was 
if I want to see this on the internet. I'm going to go Columbia, okay, and there's SEM 2196, but I need to go to data, viz, and I did name this the same, and I go here, right? Now, because I called that file index.html, I don't actually have to put the file name. Basically, all web browsers and servers are set up, again, this is just a legacy thing, this is just people decided this like 30 years ago and that's how it works now because they made that decision. Um, uh, if I put in the folder name this way, it will look for a file called index.html or a file called homehtml. So let's actually try this out. I'll just demo this, don't, you don't need to worry about doing this yourselves, but I'm just going to try changing the name of this. It should, I believe. Oh, interesting. So home is showing me the directory. That means it might not work for you guys, so don't do that. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to rename this again, back to index.html. Um, if you want to try it, go ahead and see. I'd be curious to know what the report back is and how it affects your stuff. You know, it's going super weird. There we go. Okay. So there's my file on the internet. Woohoo! So um, I'm going to break here. Um, and in the next video, we're just going to, again, review uh, quickly the, the work that we did with Git, right? Which, and it was like kind of a little crazy because none of you told me that Git wasn't working. I'm not going to forget that. I'm going to keep reminding you about that. Um, never do that again. Uh, we'll come back to the Git stuff um, and get you set up to get these files up on the internet. All right. See you in a minute.